Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Third Coast OBS. Uh, the original title to this video was going to be shifter tube replacement for my 92F150. When you make some mistakes, you really have to go in depth in how to add repairs and add cost up. Uh, so as you can see now, uh, it is shifter tube and key lock assembly replacement. Kids, follow the instructions. It's so much easier to remove this key lock cylinder if you did it the right way. Mine was already broke, the key was broke, so I had to go a step further, but I know I could have avoided everything I had to do in this job if I'd have just done it right. Uh, before this video starts, I wanted to shout somebody out though because he shouted me out numerous times. If you have not yet gone over there, go over to the Hodgepodge Dodge Garage. Check out his channel. He's up to almost 10,000 subs now. Uh, he actually wrote to me and uh, texted me, asked if it was okay to send something. It was amazing. He sent me, he's got some channel stickers. And Zane, I will be putting these up uh, probably on my toolbox, maybe on the truck. I don't know. I, I greatly appreciate it, man. Um, and anybody who's watching this, just a nice guy. You need to check him out. Wes Johnson, Steve Stoltz, Wide Duck Productions with Cody, and Sparks Fire and Balen Wire with Jason. All these channels were kind of growing up together, and they're all really worth the watch. That being said, I'm going to jump into this nightmare that is the shifter tube assembly that left me stranded at work. There we go. So let's start with the bezel and why it looks like this right now. I was at work, I had no tools, and I just had to pull this thing back because I could not get this thing out of first gear. So, of course, now this will just come off. But here is the problem. It just snapped. At first I thought I lost the cable. I found out it is the shifter tube assembly. I bought mine at O'Reilly's $29, part number 905-100. And this, complete with the bushings, is what we're going to change out today. Since we've improperly removed the bezel, we now have access to it, but we're going to need to get the covers off of here. And luckily, since I can't get it into any gear now, the key is in there so we're going to have to tackle that as well i have no tilt on this model it is a 1992 custom model so this is as bare bones as they made in 1992 and i like it i'm glad i did it so let's start underneath view from underneath you're going to see the screw holes these are actually going to have phillips head screws in them that we're going to need to take out in order to drop the trim down and get access to the shifter Okay, we drop the bottom panel. I still have my um, non-functioning cruise control here. I believe we're going to have to take out the ignition. Let's get back underneath. For the ignition, there's one spot right here where you need to push in. That should bring out the key. <clears throat> You know when you know you're going to have one of those days? The key was jammed in there. We pop this off. The key is broken in there. So that's fine. So I need to get a new ignition. That'll be the next video is how to change out your keyed ignition. Now that we've done that much damage, whatever. This is real world stuff we're dealing with. Nothing goes as planned. So that's a whole nother ball game now. So we're back to the, the shifter here. We're gonna need to come and disconnect it right here. We pop this off. Okay, let's go ahead and push this in and slide it up. And we have, oh, we have a wiring harness. There's a wiring harness that's pinned in. It's just a wire holder. I need to squeeze this clamp and we'll pop that through. Okay. That should free the sleeve and slide it up. Oh. Now, to get this piece up. So here's that pin. Push. With that pin pushed, we pushed it all the way through. And that's what that little locking pin looked like for the shift selector. Pull it straight out. Okay, so obviously this is a couple days later. Been too much going on in the world to really concentrate on finishing this project. Uh, this is going to be one of those things, guys, where uh, do as I say, not as I do. 
This is actually super simple to get out, just not the way I did it. So I'm gonna have to overcome an obstacle just to get my ignition switch out. Now the problem was, of course, mine has been bad since I bought it. I don't know if when the shifter finally collapsed or what, finally just tanked everything inside of it. I broke the key off in it. It's supposed to be as simple as pushing underneath here through that hole, turning it to the accessory, one click forward, not to start it, but just one click forward, holding that in and you could wiggle it out. My key was locked in, uh, the, even going to the neutral safety switch, I could not put it in park and get the key to go right. So I'm basically almost foobar. Tried the hammer trick, trying to knock this in to try and turn it. That may work, it doesn't seem to want to. Maybe I just need a bigger screwdriver, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna drill it out. I don't even know if this will work. Don't do this the way I did this. I'm not even gonna show the last two hours of drilling and tapping and trying to get this thing out. Finally, I had to take some of these nippics, or however you call them. I had to take some of these pliers and start crushing pieces after I drilled it out. Look at this. I drilled and drilled and drilled. I broke four drill bits. I've worked my way up from quarter inch all the way up to half inch and I could not get this thing out. I happen to have one of these bits and it's just, it's gonna eat metal. And I had to basically just scalp and scalp and scalp at the ignition. Collapse it down enough to get break all these metal pieces, these rings, everything out of it. Just to slide this stupid thing out. And I got a brand new one. All it's going to do is slide right in there. Now I get to go on and continue with the shifter tube. Look. Look at this. It's like somebody killed Kesha in here. My God. What a nightmare. I spotted something that actually is very worrisome to me. This is part of my shifter. And some broken plastic. Now that is supposed to be held right there. And then as you select your gears, it holds the tension and you would shift from park all the way down. I'm worried about that piece. So what I'm gonna have to do next <clears throat> is I have no tilt steering in this truck. We need to drop this plastic trim to just pop out and there's two screws, one here, right here. And then from there, this will just pop out these out real quick okay with that out of the way we have good access here and now we can see all the way underneath our steering column and I'm going to take this nut off here and this one as well and then behind one more here and one more up here give me four that'll drop when I do those four the steering column should be able to drop down so I can get to the top this is weird. It's just going to be one of these nuts with the washer attached. We're going to take out four total. On the right hand side of the steering column, we need to take this one out and then we're moving up to the last and fourth one. It should be up there. We've seen where the bolts are at. It's so hard to get the camera underneath just to take them out. I'm going to have to do it with you looking from the side. I've been out of my, my comfort zone many times working on this truck. This is another one of those instances. Why do the other guys have such an easy time doing this? Okay, off the shifter selector, I'm gonna have to undo this wire. When I say this thing snapped, if you can look right there, that's where the shifter tube snapped in half. These little bushings. These little bushings are supposed to go underneath these uh, almost like conduit straps. This one slipped out, but it's supposed to be underneath here. This one would have went to back here. And you can see where this thing just snapped in half. So this should be a 30, Torx head size 30. We need to get these two and these two out. These are the two the front strap. We can now lift this up. Ooh. Now let's get the back one out. There's two more. Okay. 
Another two. I'm supposed to try and take this out as one piece, but I need to get back underneath here to do this. But look at the damage. I gotta get underneath here. And in the back side, in the back side of this, there's actually some bolts I need to undo. There's one, and then there's one right next to it. I need to get those loose so I can take this out. <clears throat> and I wish I'd have got a better close-up view of that. I wasn't thinking, so it sits in here in the column. You'll need to take these two bolts in the back out. And I should have got closer. I'm gonna have to get underneath there and try and do it. I'm gonna have to probably take off that sleeve right here, but I'm gonna slide this forward. Here it is. There it is. So that's the back side of it. What I just had to take the two screws out over right here, straight back. Let's take a look at the replacement part versus what I got in my hand. Now looking at these, I'm obviously gonna have to take this and the spring out. I assume, yeah, because there's not even a spring on here. And I'm guessing you just knock this pin out. We'll have to get this selector out. You see where the crack happened? There's where the damage came from. 